Good evening, members of the VC. Um, my name is Tim. I'm from South Carolina um, in the United States. And I am doing a response video for Ron Haggerty's upcoming uh, contest that he's doing um, through the end of April. April 30th, I believe, will be the last day for the entries. And uh, he's just doing a contest just to do one. Doesn't have, you know, a milestone or anything that, he's, that he hit for this. Um, and the prize he's going to give, just so I can get that out of the way, because he doesn't discuss it in his video, is something that will be tailored to whatever, whoever wins it, he's going to kind of go off, I guess, their, their musical tastes or whatever. Um, so it's not like something that he's going to put out there like, not a whole lot of people would, you know, probably want or anything. So that way, I guess he gets more entries or whatever. So anyway, he just picked 10 random questions. And then for those questions, uh, show a record that has something to do with those questions. So <clears throat> um, the first question was something that's aquatic themed, meaning the sea or the ocean. And I ran my ideas past him before I showed some of these. So I picked um, Except Restless and Wild because it has the song Fast as a Shark on it. For number two, um, a country you've been to or like to visit. Uh, I have been to Australia. Um, I was in Perth for, you, for a few days on a port call when I was in the Navy. And so I'm showing probably Australia's most famous band, ACDC. Blow up your video. Or the third question was an album that has someone that had something to do with the album that shares your surname, meaning your last name. And so mine's um, probably a pretty common last name, but not so much in musical circles. However, um, so I used to have Rush's All the World a Stage live album. It was their first, I think their first live album they did. And it was actually the first Rush album I ever had. I had it on a CD and I used to work out to it a lot. And, um, so there was a guy in the liner notes. I'm not exactly sure what his role in, but his name was the same as mine. First and last name. I don't have that album. However, I do have the record for what that tour was for, which was the 2112 tour. So number four is an album that kind of like it's spiritual to you. I guess the way he's put it is that it kind of just kind of puts you in the mood where you really don't have to. You can just kind of sit there and be, I guess. Um, so I'm going to put it. I've only listened to it like a couple of times, but I kind of get that feeling when I listen to it. It's 20, 2001 by um, Diodato. This is a, a Brazilian, I believe, um, musician. Basically, this is a. Uh, uh, jazz fusion i wish i got from ron when he sent me a packet of stuff a while back i think there's like 10 or 11 albums that were in that one of which did not make the cut for me to actually put in my collection uh, but the other ones did question number five is personal story so before i show this one a buddy me and a buddy of mine named richard lopez who unfortunately um, passed away recently um, he had he had a heart attack. We were in the Navy together, and we were doing what's called um, we were doing a, like a um, a temporary assignment. I think it was like TAD or something like what it was called. But it's where you do something other than your actual job. So we were working in in the mess hall on the boat, and we would kind of we were in different departments. We pass each other throughout the shift, and we just like yell out a a, a, a lyric to a song once in a while and then so we happened to pass each other and we yelled out the same lyric at, at the same time we're not going to take it so twisted sisters stay hungry which has that song we're not going to take it number six food so why not blt which is the first album with robin trower who was originally, well, I don't know about originally, but he was with um, Pro Call Harem before going uh, solo. Jack Bruce on bass and vocals, you all know from the band Cream, and Bill Lorden was the, the drummer on this album. He does not, uh, Lorden doesn't play on the second one. 
but I so I think they just can they just shorten that to Bruce and Trower for the for the second album um, question seven being weather so I chose Blizzard of Oz the first solo album for Ozzy uh, for sexy album um, Lita Ford out for blood which apparently this is the original cover I'm not sure what the other cover looked like So, uh, number nine, an album I don't think Ron owns, and I'm going with the Merciful Fate EP, um, self-titled Merciful Fate also can be found under the, uh, the title of Nuns Have No Fun, which is one of the tracks on this album. And then the final album, which just kind of was like a random, just put my hand on something, and that's Stormtroopers of Death. Speak English or Die, which was their first of two studio albums that they that they did. And this has um so this would eventually spawn Billy Milano would eventually do um MOD Methods of Destruction, but I believe Charlie B Benante is on this and uh Scott Ian from Anthrax are on this as well. I'm not sure what the entire band is. Let's see if I can Pull something out of here that says who everybody was. Uh, this is a, the 30th anniversary one, by the way, which has um, live uh, stuff and like a couple bonus uh, studio tracks that the original version didn't have. So those are the ones I've selected, and I'm pretty sure I kept it under 20 minutes, which is kind of his the guideline he has for it. So anyway, that's my video, and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you are in inspired to do your own, and uh, peace out. See y'all later.